So I've been working on various things. This is the 25.4 uh, millimeter um, master cylinder, which I'm thinking of putting in. It says 25, but it's really a full inch. It's 25.4. And then these I got from the guys in the Netherlands. Um, and it's a uh, nice set of fixed line. They're called. 3-15s. So I'm not exactly sure how much they drop. I'm not sure how the math works, but they are a fixed line proportioning valve. So the way a proportioning valve works is there's a spring and a check valve, a bowl check valve, and when the certain spring pressure is reached it actually closes off the passage. So what will happen is this, the pressure in the system will build up until about say 500 PSI for the rear brakes and then it won't go any higher. It'll go slightly higher but not much higher. So the fronts, the spec for the fronts are 1500 and the rears, the uh, drums are 450 to 500 and rear discs are closer to 700. Um, my proportioning valve, and I'll show you what's going on, it's supposed to be adjustable from 100 to 1000 PSI for the rear. For some reason when I crank it on full minimum, which should be 100 PSI, the rears were still locking up first, so I think there's something wrong with the system. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing to diagnose it. So what's going on here is I have a 3000 PSI gauge with some adapters that you can screw in and check the brake pressure at various points. So first thing I did is I checked the, I have two block offs because I'm only using one half of master cylinder so I went into the front circuit first and then I went into the rear circuit second and they both measured the same which is good so I'm getting with no vacuum assist I'm getting six to seven hundred psi max on both circuits and then as I crank up the boost or the, the, the vacuum which I have my <clears throat> you know it's a electric vacuum because the race engine doesn't produce much idle vacuum. Anyway, so with maximum uh, boost assist, I get to 15, 1600 PSI um, at the master cylinder, uh, front and rear. And when I turn down the boost, I can vary it anywhere between you know, the 750 and the 1500, depending on how I set the, uh, the, uh, the computer setting. So that's all working. So I verify that's correct. Then I have this Willwood can't really see in the dark, but I have a Woolwood adjustable proportioning valve. And that should give me the variable amount to the rears. Now I haven't got the rears yet, I've just did the front calipers. And um, they're, as expected, they're measuring 1500 um, at the front. They should, it should be the same obviously as the master cylinder, but just in case there's a problem with the system, I double checked and I'm getting full pressure. The reason why I double checked is because the, um, the way I wrote the lines is they go through the um, this the uh, Willwood proportioning valve is also a distribution block, so the front go in and then they it splits the fronts into two circuits, and then the rear comes out as a single circuit which runs to the back, and then I split the back into a Y just in front of the axle, and so now that I've done this one, I'm going to go to the back, and I will check the rear pressure, and we'll see the problem may or may not be back there and I want to get this all figured out before I start swapping master cylinders. So here's my braking assistant call on my middle son. Hello. Home, home for the holidays. Um, 500. 500, okay yeah it was. So what we did, I realized that I had the proportioning valve turned the wrong way. So what did we see? The maximum when it was all the way out this. was almost, what did you say it was almost 1500 psi? It was 14. Yeah, so it basically... A bit less than 1400. Yeah, so when the proportioning valve was, was basically wide open, it would let almost all the pressure through. And when we cranked it all the way down, what did we get? 500? Uh, 500, 500, 500, 500, 600, which is, should be, that's the money shot. So I think that I just had the proportioning valve turned the wrong way when I was testing it. Just fucking stupid me. So anyway, the system is working. So we're good. Thank you.